I was sitting here today thinking, what advice would I give to a young black man about being successful in America? And I thought about it, and it's pretty much the similar advice that I give you guys about being successful here on YouTube. If it's a young black man, what would I tell him? How would I prep him to be for successful? And one of the things that I would do is tell him to be courageous, tell him to take chances, tell him to go out into the world and to do certain things. And I would tell him to be a hero. I would tell him to go ahead and fill up his notebook with the biggest dreams he could fill them up. Whatever he wants to do, I would tell him to go for it. I would tell him to go for it hard. Because one of the things that happens in the quote, community is that many young black folks are taught that you have to be better, you have to work harder, you, there is quote unquote the black tax. And I'm here to tell you, it's just simply not true. Today, I had several people buy the $2,400 version of the corporate toolbox. And I went ahead and did a little research few Asians, a few white people, um, but I'm black. That's not supposed to happen. And I would tell you to divorce yourself from these notions that you're less than. Because from my opinion, all of this, you have to work harder, you have to do this, is meted in, uh, is rooted in an inferiority complex. You're taught to be inferior. You're taught that you don't measure up. You're, you're getting all of this stuff from jump during your formative, important years. And I would tell you to be, to go for it. If you wanted to start a bank, I would say start a bank, young man. If you, whatever you want to do, because essentially there is so much that is possible if you have the right mindset. There is so much that is doable. There is so much that you can enjoy. There's so much you can do if you have the right mindset. And many of our young people are corrupted by a bad and mediocre and inferiority complex mindset. So what else would I tell this young man? I will tell him to work hard. There are a few people on this channel who've been looking for cheat codes so they don't have to work that hard. I will say work as hard as you can. Whatever job that you do, work the job to the best of your ability because when you do your own thing, you're gonna take those good habits for you as well as you working really hard for quote unquote the man. Some of my, you know, long, long time ago, when I was in a situation where I was working all of these trash jobs, I had this one job where I went to the labor pool and they sent me over to Ellsworth Industrial. I still remember it to this day. And it was this warehouse and they sold Christmas decorations. And my job was to separate the stuff as it came from China and to put it into lots. So, you know, they told me to do it one way, right? But I sat down and I figured out a way to do it more efficiently and I was able to do three times as much work as the person before me. The lady came in and she was literally shocked and blown away. She's like, who told you how to do this? It's like, I just figured it out. She says, this is going to put us ahead of schedule. Be back tomorrow. And I ended up working that job for like five or six months because the lady was so, she was like, you're just so precious and see, this is one of the things that happens because did me performing at that high level get me any more money? No, not back then. But me performing at that high level got me money when I got to my own business. Because see, one of the things is that many people have some really bad habits. They don't know how to work hard. They don't know how to organize. They don't know how to structure anything. Right now on YouTube, there are so many YouTubers who have massive viewership based on organization, how to study because people just don't know how to do this. And I'm really good at putting stuff together and structuring things. 
And this is one of the things that I learned how to do with all of these trash jobs. Every job I had, I would work it as hard as I could. I would not shift, I would not sham. Shamming is a term from the military, the 1980s militaries. Shamming means that you would like pretend to work. You wouldn't be working, you would just pretend to work. So I would tell this young man to work really hard, to have big goals, to have big dreams, and I would tell him something else that probably no one ever has told him. You can do it. See, right now, I have an idiot who is emailing me and coming on my channels and talking about how I'm gonna fail. He's like, well, you know, YouTube ain't a business model. Savage Finance, which is six months old, is about to make $6,000 in AdSense this month. I'm gonna probably make close to $9,000 this month from YouTube money. But I am being told by this idiot that that ain't gonna work and it's not called a business model. See, I will tell this young man that you will meet many, many people who will tell you you can't do it. And I will tell him, don't believe him. Don't listen to him. Don't pay him any attention. Cause this fool who keeps emailing me and stuff, he is extremely jealous of my success. He doesn't have a paid off Porsche in his garage. He doesn't have a paid off BMW in his garage. He don't live in a million dollar house in a million dollar neighborhood. He don't have none of that. All he's doing is looking at my life with his nose pressed up against the glass, wishing he could get inside. And I will tell this young man that there will be many, many people you will meet in life like that who have given up on their dreams, who've given up on their hopes, who, have, who, who don't know how to work, who are essentially are just living life in a lack environment because no one has ever told him the rules of life. Because I will tell him, if you create an environment of success, you will be successful. So this is one of the reasons that, the, let's get back to the hard work thing. Here's with YouTube. I'm in an environment where my hard work is rewarded. I work really hard on Savage Finance. The channel is growing. Savage Finance gets more views than this channel. And, and going forward, it's gonna get a, go, a play button probably before this channel. And this channel is only 3,600 subscribers away from a gold play button, a silver play button. Savage Finance will probably get a gold play button before this channel. And there are so many people who will tell you, you can't do it. And I'm here to tell you, you can do it. See, if you put your mind to it and you work hard, and you ignore all of the distractors, because there will be distractors. Some of the distractors will come to you as members of your family. Some of the distractors will just be friends. It's a term called fremony, fremony, a friend who's an enemy. Some of these people, some of the people who will be so close to you will be your biggest haters. And I will tell you to rise above that because I'll tell you a little situation. In my immediate family, we really don't talk because of jealousy, hate, and stuff, because I wanted to have control of my life. See, there was a period in my life when I was in the military where I was the sole source of support for the family. I was the only one sending the check. And then my mother got sick again, and it was the expectation was for me to put my life on hold once again. I already did that. I know what that looks like. I know what that tastes like. I didn't like how it tastes, so I said, like, I'm not gonna do it. You two can do it this time. Because when I was supporting you, mom, and her, it was all lovely. But the fact that I wanted to own my own life, to go in my own direction, to do my own thing, this created a rift. And part of this is jealousy, part of this is envy, part of this is hate. And like I said to my young man, some of some the people who are the closest to you will hate you the hardest. Because they, see, here's the thing. And this is something, a very important lesson. When you're growing up, you're a baby junior. You're baby junior running around with a poopy diaper. There were people who will take a snapshot of that you and cling to it forever. I don't care how much you've grown. I don't care what you've done. 
They're going to see you, still see you as Baby Junior in that poopy diaper, regardless of what they do, and they're going to treat you like Baby Junior in that poopy diaper. See, this is one of the things that is part of the human condition. People like to put people in boxes. People like to put labels on people, but they don't like to rewrite the nomenclature on the label. This is what this is. This is how it is. This is how it's going to stay. And they'll leave it there. Even regardless, this is one of the reasons that when you break up with someone, typically it's just not going to work out because that person is always going to see the side of you that they broke up with. I don't care how much you've grown. I don't care how much you have become a better person. They're simply not going to see it because of this, this condition of the human condition. They're just not going to see it. So I would say work and also I would say prepare to be alone. In this journey for success, you will be alone and you will be lonely. And I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be hard when you're going through it. It's going to be very, very hard when you're going through it because we were not built to be alone. But for you to get to that promised land, for you to create the things you need to create, for you to do the things you want to do in life, for you to be the best version of yourself, you're going to have to be alone and you're going to have to be lonely sometimes because this is one of the things I will also tell you that as you make yourself a better version of yourself, you will draw better people to you. See, you will draw this wonderful circle of friends and family that are appropriate to you because as you level up, so does your associations, so does your girlfriends, so does your boyfriends. All of this stuff levels up because when you treat yourself as a valuable commodity, other people will treat you as a valuable commodity. I get a lot of flack on it because I'll put this, I will also say to my young black man, lead with your masculinity, lead with your dominance, but don't lead with your blackness. How much money being black is going to get you paid? Zero. How much money will be in a dominant masculine man that creates a system that creates a level of service for people that's going to help people have better lives? You can make millions doing that. So I would say, you know, proud, be proud to be black. That's cool. Enjoy your blackness. Enjoy your know, black holidays. Enjoy that. But when you go out into the world, leave your blackness at home. Now, there will be many people who are literally throwing stuff, rocks and stuff at the computer screen because it's like, they're never going to let you forget you black. I'm simply, I'm here to simply tell you that's not true. You go ahead. You lead with your humanity, you lead with your love, you lead with kindness, and you go out into the world and you become a valuable commodity to the world. The world will worship you. The world will treat you well. I'm here to tell you, because I every time I say something like this, I get the hotel community, they ain't gonna never let you forget that you black. The question is, I want you to also examine up in your young life, who has done the most harm to you? Has it been white people, Asian people, Hispanic people, or has it been black folks? Ask yourself that question from an honest perspective. And the answer could be chilling. So I would say, go out, go forward, be brave, be bold. I also would say, date every race of women on the planet. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. Date Asian women, date Latina women, date Hispanic women, date them all. Because see, when you create yourself as the best version of yourself and you become a dominant masculine black man, the world is literally your oyster. You will be able to get with people that you, 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 you normally wouldn't even think you could get with because you're leading with masculinity. You're leading with your talents. You're leading with your humanity. And I know I will have a lot of people like, oh, no. See, let the black thing go. And this isn't, once again, to be not proud that you're black, but it's to understand how the world operates. When you lead with service, you lead with a valuable commodity. When you lead like that, when you make moves like that, when you act like that, the world will beat a path to your door. 
The world would literally be throwing money at you. But once again, you may have to leave the collective because the black collective is rooted in mediocrity, is rooted in game, is rooted in, because see, right here on YouTube, I have this channel that teaches people how to start businesses, that teach people how to put together LLCs and corporations. I don't get a tenth of the views as a YouTuber, and I'm not mentioning their names because I have no hate or harm for these folks that talks about dating. I don't get a tenth of the views because see, I will also tell this young black man, worry more about success than having sex. Because see, here's the thing. I will say, once you go ahead and get yourself together, you will have a unlimited options of that later on. Spend time getting yourself together. Spend time enjoying it. Like I said, you know, date, have fun, enjoy life, but also be about your purpose. Be about business, have a business mindset, because the sooner that you are about your business, the sooner that you're on your purpose, the sooner that you begin to grow this stuff, it's the sooner you'll be free. Because I'm here to tell you, young black man, you can be free. You don't have to work some suck job. You don't have to work around people you don't like. You don't have to work in hostile environments. If you start your own thing, if you learn how to interact and relate with people, if you learn how to run businesses, you don't have to do any of that. None of it at all. So I would also tell you to be kind. Be good to those who are good to you. See, there is uh, something that's called positional leadership, because if you occupy this position, then people are supposed to treat you a certain kind of way. I don't really believe in that. I believe in giving love, kindness, and affection to those who give you love, kindness, and affection. It's a reciprocal agreement. I would not tell you to be wedded to false narratives that will be harmful to you in your future. I would tell you to go out and enjoy life. I would tell you to make a lot of money. I would tell you to enjoy your money. I would tell you how you should be. Because I'm here to tell you, you can be successful in America. You can be really, really successful in America, more so now than any point in history. There is so much available for you. There are so many business models. There are so many things you can do. You just got to pick one and work hard and go for it. All right. So that's all I got for you. For those of you who are interested in becoming corporate citizens, it is my goal to create a situation where I'm going to turn 50,000 of you into corporate citizens. What does that mean? I'm going to teach you how to start a holding company and teach you how to create operating companies and teach you how to start, structure, and scale your businesses. Whatever they be, because see, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Everyone's not going to have the same business, but this methodology will work for any and every business that you can think of. Right now, I am doing a corporate restructure, and I want you to think about that. I'm doing a corporate restructure. I am creating a, I created the holding company a few years ago. Now I'm creating new operating companies and I'm switching it all up around. Because when you are a corporate citizen, you can do that. You can pick, choose, and refuse. You can run your life the way that you want to. So I'm doing a corporate restructuring, moving everything around because I, I will tell you what my plan is. And this is something that YouTube's gonna weigh a big part into. Right now, my YouTube AdSense is gonna be about nine, close to $9,000 this month. I have a feeling in a few months, it's gonna be close to 30,000 a month. What I'm gonna do is take that $30,000 and put myself on payroll, make myself an employee of my company and pay myself $300,000 a year. Then the rest of the money, I'm going to run through my company and buy cash producing assets and pay taxes later. Every penny of it, because essentially as Savage Finance, I preach if you're a normal person. Once again, I'm not a normal person. I'm not in the position because see right now I save money, but I really don't have to because I have financial devices that put cash money in my pocket every month. So I need more of those financial devices. So I'm going to create a real estate company 
And the goal is to get 25 houses. And after that, I might start doing Airbnb because Airbnb will be back then and may have five tricked out houses. But essentially, this is going to be my retirement plan. 25 houses, all paid for, producing cash, and maybe five Airbnbs producing cash. We're talking about $750,000 per year gross revenue. After taxes and expenses, we're talking about 500,000 for me. I don't live on that now. 500,000, I can do well in retirement with that. I can ball out in retirement with that. So that's the plan. And that's what you do as a corporate citizen. Cause like, once again, links is below. I don't worry about taxes. Cause you got people like 401k taxes. I'm not even worried about taxes because the way that I've created my corporate structure, my corporate structure minimizes my taxes. I'm not even worried about taxes. And I'm going to teach you how to do this, how to set this up so you can be fruitful in the future. Once again, the links below for the month of, from now into the month of September, I'm doing a founder special. Everyone that signs up will either pay 2,400 bucks or get on the monthly payment plan. And that's all you're going to pay. And my intention is to turn it into a monthly subscription in October. So links below. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.